Hi there guys, Ian here and today I'm bringing you an After Effects tutorial and this is how to create kind of sparks um, in After Effects using Trap Code Particular. Uh, it's quite simple and I worked it out um, when I was just playing around with it and I'm actually going to be giving away uh, the finished result. I made myself a kind of trailer text kind of thing and so you can see we have uh, coming soon, coming on the date and presents and what we're creating is these sparks here um, they kind of fly in from the side um, and we've got all the motion blur on, it looks really nice and so we'll just make a new document here and then we want to create a new composition um, I've got mine on 20 seconds now I'm going to put that down to maybe five seconds um, just 720 by 10 eight, uh, 720 sorry 1280 by 720 um, so you need to make a new solid to begin with so just right click new solid and leave everything on the same and then find your partic particular plugin if you don't have it you'll probably need to buy it or download it however you want so just drag this onto your solid here and we get our particular effect here so the first thing we want to do is go to the emitter and put this something high like I'm going to choose about 35,000 so when this plays we get this huge uh, blob which we now want to on the first frame keyframe then go a few seconds in well sorry a few frames in and change it to zero so now when it comes out um, it kind of comes out as an array now we want to change uh, the emitter to sorry to a point and the direction to directional and I'm just going to put the direction speed on 30 and now you just want to kind of play with um, the rotation until it comes out to where you want, so I'm going to put this to 90, uh, this to around minus 60, and the Z I'm going to put on minus 70 as well. So now it kind of comes out at a slight angle. Now the velocity we want quite high, so I'm going to put this at around 400. So now it kind of spurts out much more. And velocity random, I'm going to increase this to about 75 so it's far more spread out and the distribution I'm going to put to about 1.5 and velocity from motion I'm going to put to around 40 so now you can see it comes out uh, like this and we also want to change this position here to somewhere in the corner and so it kind of comes out like that now the next we want now we're done with this tab here we can just close the emitter and open up the particle now we want to change the random life to around well to 100 and so some die out a lot more uh, a lot quicker than the others and we want to change the feather to zero and so now um, they're perfect spheres and we want to change the size down to one and the size random to 100 so some are bigger some are smaller and that is us done with the particle tab next thing we want to go to is the physics and here we want to change the gravity to minus 10 just so it has a bit of gravity and then in the air we want to change the spin frequency to 0.1 and in the wind we want around minus 280 in the wind y we want around minus 50 now you can play with all of these, these are just a few of my settings which I found and the y wind z to about minus 100 now in the turbulence field this is where they become slightly more random as at the moment um, they come off 
a bit too um, bit too samey. It's all uh, very similar. So in the turbulence, we want to affect the position by around 300. So already these look a bit more sparkly because sparks kind of fly out quite randomly, and we want to change nothing else. Now, one thing I forgot to do is in the particle, we want to go to opacity over life and change it to this bottom preset. Um, basically what this does is as it gets to near the end of its life, the opacity changes quite a lot, so uh, it kind of flickers a lot, and we just want to add a few more clicks in here so it sparks a bit more. So now we can see it kind of flicks around. So this is looking really nice. And the next thing we want to do is go to rendering, motion blur, and check on. So now we get these really nice kind of uh, blurred flicks and we can change this down a bit maybe we want it on around 120 so you can see now um, it kind of uh, flicks out and we might want to change the opacity boost up to maybe 10 um, and that's us done with the particular. Now to get the colour, we want another trap code plugin called Shine. And just drag this onto here as well. Change your ray length to zero. And straight away you see these lovely colours here um, coming through. And on colorize, we can actually just change this to fire. And you can see we have these re this really nice effect. If there aren't enough sparks for you, you can go back into the meta on the first flame, uh, first frame and change this up. So now we have even more. Or if you want, you can go down into the particular thing and just drag this out. Uh, this is the zero one, so from here we get all of these lovely um, particles and then they kind of burst out and spread out and so this is just um, the kind of all the settings I use to do mine but as I said you can do whatever you can change all the settings here uh, to whatever you like and so this is basically how I make my sparks in particular so this is all After Effects uh, not using any stock footage at all and it looks really nice um, I'll leave a download to my um, project file so you can download my template for uh, trailers and you can just take the sparks out of that if you like. Um, other than that, just um, remember to follow me on Twitter. I normally give away a few things on there and also like me on Facebook and all of that. Um, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more. Uh, this has been Ian, I hope you learned something, and I'll see you soon.